just rode into the Taylor Fork area, and in our first snow pit, we found great, strong, stable snow. But what's concerning me is in our, our second pit, now in our third pit, we found a layer of surface hoar. Surface hoar is like frozen dew on the snowpack. And you can see it, if you dig down, you can see a bit of a stripe in the snowpack right here. Um, the scary thing about surface hoar is that oftentimes it'll form everywhere but get knocked down by wind or destroyed by the sun in certain areas. So what happens is it's really pocketed. So just like what happened to us, we dug one pit over on one slope and we didn't find it. We found stable conditions. We kept riding, assuming things were stable. But we stopped and dug another pit and found this surface hoar. It doesn't seem to be too reactive, but definitely something to be heads up about mainly because it's propagating across in our stability test and uh, it could definitely cause an avalanche. So here we'll do an extended column to see what it does here. There, it's ECTP, so it propagated all the way across on 11. So there's the problem, and uh, just be heads up for it, be looking for it. If you don't find it in one location, don't assume that it won't exist in another location. And it's, uh, it could be potentially uh, problematic for snowmobiling because we can hit so many slopes in a day that uh, you might just find that one spot where you can get an avalanche. So just make sure you're going one at a time, your partners are watching you from a safe zone, and assume every slope you get on could avalanche.